everyone, Big Paulie back for another video. Uh, finally back to do my haul video. So this is going to be the haul for December and January. As I was too busy over the Christmas months with all the group buys and shenanigans and all that Christmas shopping stuff. So anyway, we're going to go through all the pickups that I had for those two months. Uh, some of them were pickups in store, some of them were through the post. Uh, and they're not in any particular order, so we're not starting from 1st of December to now. Just all the pickups that I got. Yeah, oh, I'm waffling, aren't I? <laughs> right, okay, first one that I've got is Terminator 2 3D. Is that Terminator 2 Judgment Day 3D? Uh, and this is a steel book. Uh, I think it was Zavi. I believe it was. Oh, I can't even remember where I bought them from. So that's a really nice one. It's glot. Um, it's matte, but it's got a very shiny metallic look to it. So that's really good. <coughs> Excuse my coffin. It comes with two discs. Comes with a 3D disc and a standard disc as well. No 4D. I keep saying 4D instead of 4K. I can't get out of that habit. No 4K disc. Although I've heard mixed reviews about the 4K version. So. Uh, happy with that. Saw the 3D version in the cinema. Really good. So that's one. Uh, next one we've got is season three of Fear the Walking Dead. Look at that. Isn't that a really good picture? That's brilliant. That reminds me of that reminds me of that Def Leppard album cover. I think it was called Retrospective. I think it might have been. That's really good. I like that. Uh, and this is the third season. I haven't seen the third season at all. So uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting around to doing a marathon on that. And there's the discs inside. They're actually stacked on top of each other. Love Fear the Walking Dead. Um, looking forward to really watching, getting down, knuckling down and watching this before the fourth season starts. And I'm glad I got it on Blu-ray. I missed it on the TV so that I can just do an entire marathon because that's what's best okay next one um i picked up through a fellow youtuber called watch media we did a few exchanges with still books and and stuff and i really wanted this this is the stranger things uh, it's not a vhs but it's actually the stranger things blu-ray box set but look at that isn't that brilliant that is absolutely fantastic. What a brilliant piece of marketing. And you even pick up the flap bit there to open it. And it's got the uh, the Blu-rays and everything inside it. It's also got the DVDs as well. Um, and although I did pay a little bit extra for, for this, I really wanted it because it's not available in the UK. And um, I know you can probably pick it up in the US for about $5 by now, which is really bad. Anyway, so that's that one. Uh, next one I picked up, as I have to pick up, is Game of Thrones Season 7. I've got all of these now, so all seven seasons with the magnets and the steel books. Collectible Sigil Magnet. So that's Season 7. So looking forward to completing the seasons when the next one comes out. Season 8. Um, it's 2019, isn't it? I think. Oh, dear me. I've got to wait, haven't we? Next one I picked up is one of my favourite films of last year. And that is Dunkirk. Now, it's not everybody's cup of tea. This is. So, yeah. It's not for everybody. A lot of people weren't too happy with the soundtrack it's a th thumping soundtrack and it was m migrating on people's brains and but i love the soundtrack to dunkirk it wouldn't have worked with a sweeping epic score this is the type of soundtrack this is fantastic uh, it's a really nice steel book i did have the gatefold digi book uh, but i traded that or i sold that to uh watch media I think I gave it to him actually. <laughs> anyway, really good. I love the metallic look on the Dunkirk there. And this is the Ultra HD. 
I think this this is the stu the German one. I think it was the medium market German one because it comes with a bonus disc in there as well. So that's brilliant. Really happy that I was able to get a steel book on that because I have no idea why the UK didn't get a steel book. Zavi, not HMV. I don't understand that. One of the biggest films of the year. Uh, next one was a film that really impressed me and totally took me by surprise. This is Atomic Blonde uh, with Charlize Theron. It's got some nice spot gloss on the actual slipcover there. Uh, and this is kind of along the lines of Salt and John Wick. And it's a bloody good action film. Absolutely brilliant. And she's got some kick-ass moves in it. If you haven't seen this and you like action films like John Wick, you've got to see it. It's a really good film. So, really enjoyed that film. Um, there is a steel book for it. Um, I think it's got a light blue cover. Yeah, I think I'll, I wanted to pick that up because of this cover. Nice gloss on that. Next one I picked up um, was a film I saw recently, a couple of weeks ago, and that is The Dark Tower, the Stephen King adaptation, where there are other worlds than these. Um, and it's quite, a, to be perfectly honest, quite a short film. I think it was only about an hour and a half. Uh, 95 minutes, that's really short. It was quite a good film. Um... It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I th thought there was going to be a bit more oomph. But um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good effort. It's a film that I'll, I'll probably watch again, but it could have been a lot better. Uh, next film is one that I missed at the cinema last year. Um, Lulu and Claire went to see it and they said it was absolutely brilliant. And that is American Made with Tom Cruise. And it was, it was a bloody good film. Tom Cruise is normally Tom Cruise, isn't he? He's, he's normally Ethan Hunt in any Tom Cruise movie. But for this, no, he wasn't. It was completely set up. So I was really surprised how good this film really was. So that's that one. That's American Made. Uh, next one I picked up in Poundland. Might have been December. I can't quite remember. And I always wanted to see this film because of all the controversy and the shit that got kicked up. And that is The Interview with Seth Rogen and, and James Franco. Um, if, I, if, it's, if I'm correct, it's about a couple of like online interviewees um, that go out to North Korea uh, to interview the leader. You know, like Kim Jong-un or Il or whatever his name is now. I don't know who it was back then. Um, and I think they're approached by the CIA or aren't they or something to carry out an assassination while they're out there. I don't know too much about it. That's what I'm going by the thingy on the back there. But it is a film that I'm looking forward to seeing finally. Uh, next film I, I picked up um, was uh, based on a true story starring Daniel Radcliffe. And that is Jungle. Uh, and that does look good. That does really look good. It's going to kind of be a bit... Um, castaway, I should imagine, in the jungle. <laughs> Wilson! So, yeah, looking forward to that, as it's based on a true story as well. Uh, so, hopefully we'll get around to seeing that. As you can see, I've hardly seen any of these over the last two months. Uh, here's one I did see, and I was very pleasantly supply surprised, surprised, and that is Beyond Skyline, with a beautiful metallic cover up there on the slip. And the stars. And this was the sequel, prequel, sequel, yeah, sequel, to um, Skyline from, I believe it was 2010. This was a pretty good film. Uh, I know it's a low budget, it's not like straight to DVD affair, but it was a pretty good film. And it kind of gave Independence Day Resurgence a, a real run for its money. Oh, excuse me, I am just about to... Sneeze. <coughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh cross, I nearly blew my head off then. Oh dear me. Right. Or at least nothing has come out. Eww. Right, okay. Next one up is uh, Detroit. Which. <laughs> Paul, learn to sneeze off camera. Uh, and this has got a nice embossing 
on the title and I got this because the writer and the director of Hurt Locker and Zero Dark Thirty which are both brilliant films and it also stars Finn John Boyega so I'm really looking oh and Will, um, Will Porter so that'd be really good I'm looking forward to seeing that That's, I, I've heard good things about that next one um, was one of my first regular 4k pickups that wasn't a steelbook and that is the brilliant it look at that nice gloss on the on the balloon and on the title there they should have made that gloss as well but this was absolutely brilliant absolutely loved this movie uh i do vaguely remember the original 1990s miniseries but i kind of felt like that was a bit of more of a comedy <laughs> <laughs> but this is it's not truly terrifying um it's scary in places but it's more it's a thriller it's weird it's hitting your nerves and that kind of shit so i'm looking forward to seeing part two of this with with the kids all grown up it's going to be a hell of a job trying to cast them though so i'm looking forward to finally seeing that on 4k that'd be brilliant so that's it uh next two are part of the premium collection i picked up uh, which I believe were two for £15, I think it was. And I specifically picked these up because of uh, Spielberg's. So it's, um, I was going to say Millennium. What was I going to say Millennium? Munich. Uh, yeah, with Eric Banner and Daniel Craig. So it's been a long time since I've seen this. So I shall stick that back on and, and, and watch that again. And also these have got both really nice slips. And also Amistad as well with Anthony Hopkins and Matthew McConaughey and Morgan Freeman. So looking forward to seeing that. I've only ever seen this once and I don't think I saw it all the way through watching it. I think there was quite a few interruptions. So it'll be good to actually sit down in a quiet room and watch the whole thing. Uh, next one I got uh, was also from Poundland. Didn't know much about it, picked it up basically because Toby, Toby Stevens is in it. Uh, and I'm a big fan of him from uh, the Bond film and also Black Sails. Uh, and that is The Machine. So don't know anything about it, but that's one that I'm going to stick on. Also another pickup from Poundland, Jason Statham, Hummingbird. Good old action film. Uh, same streets, different city, London, 3am. So, looks a bit of a actioner there. So, looking forward to seeing that. Uh, also, I picked up another one from Poundland. This is when Poundland were actually actually stocking some. <laughs> now my local Poundlands have all gone balls up, and it's hard to find anything worth picking up. I mean, the ones they do have, they have big titles like Minions and Lord of the Rings and all that. But I've already got them all, so there's no point picking them up. The International. I do like an action film, and I do like a film with um, Clive Owen. Although that does not look like Clive, Clive Owen. Bad Photoshop. Next one I picked up. I saw this series. Um, I really enjoyed the first series, really enjoyed the second series only saw it on sky and i wanted to pick up the 4k because if anything's going to give the 4k a kick up the arse and a boost and show its beauty with the with the hdr and everything it's blue planet 2 and look at that nice beautiful slip cover with all that gloss on there i've seen up to episode four no i've seen i've seen one ocean the deep coral reefs and big blue so i've got three episodes to go uh, and I'm really, it's really good. Um, the one that stood out for me was the coral reefs. Holy shit, those colours and the coral reef in HDR and 4K. Oh, that's mind-blowing. So I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of that. The next one I picked up, uh, didn't know too much about, but picked it up because of the cast, Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, and I've had some good feedback on this. People keep telling me, you've got to watch it. You've got to watch it. It's really good. I want, They want to know what I think of it. So that is Wind River. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Look, so some of them I haven't even taken out of their foil yet. Out of their wrapping. So that'd be good. So I really am looking forward to seeing that one because I don't know anything about it. Next one I got 
uh, was also from Poundland. I picked up because of the cast again. William Fitner, David Duchovny and Ed Harris. And it's all set on board a submarine. Which I love submarine movies. Phantom. So that looks really good. It's going to have a Das Boot feel to it. A, a U571. So, and it's inspired by actual events. So um, that will be good. Definitely want to see that one. Uh, a couple of the recent pickups. This one which I haven't even unwrapped yet. Which I must do a unboxing for. Uh, and that is Kingsman, the Golden Circle, uh, and this is the only HMV exclusive. Uh, and it's the 4K, I believe it's the 4K, or maybe not. Yes, it is. It's the four two discs, 4K and the Blu-ray plus the film extras and everything. And I do like this artwork. A lot of people weren't too sure on the artwork, but because I love the Logan artwork, that arty arty artwork, whatever that is. And I really like that artwork. I know it doesn't match the previous one. I haven't got the original movie in, in the white HMV. I've got the... It's a black steel book. So I think it might be either a film... Oh, oh God, I can't remember. A film arena. It might even be a film arena. Or it might be something like a... Um, I don't think it's a Mondo. Anyway, if anybody knows what the black original... Kingsman Steelbook is it comes with a lenticular cover and all the cards. Let me know. Is it HD Z2 or something? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. But um, I am really looking forward to seeing that again and in 4K because I really did like that film. Um, and I'm probably one of the few people who thought that was was better than the first film. But that's just me. Time for a sip of mid tier. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, last one. I've left the best till last, and that is Rogue One, the Blue Fans Edition. Ah, uh, yeah, I still my jaw still hasn't been picked up off the floor after receiving this, um, and that still book that just that is oh, that is just an absolute gorgeous still book. So I'm really happy with that. Blue fans really know how to do it with a steelbook. And these lenticulars, no one, no one can match these lenticulars. They're absolutely incredible. So that's that. So that's it for now. So that's my haul for December and January. Um, as that was two months, we're going to stick to one month now. I know there's not that many big releases out, so we can easily do that. Um, I've already got a couple to start to kick off January, February month, <laughs> to kick off February. So I'll do that video at the end of the month. So hope you enjoy this little video and you had some interesting thoughts. And if anybody had got any comments or any criticisms of what I picked up or why did I pick that up, stick it down in the comments. It's always worth a laugh. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye everyone.